Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. I'm Will, and I've got my co-host over here, The Grease. Say hello. Grease. What's up, everyone? We're, we're totally not framed right. No, yeah, we didn't. We check were that. late, and then I didn't frame it. Hang on. Who are, are you, Dan? Well, we, are you we, Dan Shook? Oh, it's Dan Shook. Oh, yeah. You can see my knees. I'm wearing shorts because it is hot, y'all. It is hot outside. Dude, your knees are freaking fire, though, dude. I've I seen know. those things. They're on fire. Naked. I did, did some leg. <laughs> right. Days. I mean, they're, my knees are naked now. If anybody has not skipped leg day, it's daggum will. Yeah. So we are here tonight. We're back. This is the first time you and I have been in the same podcasting room since uh prohibition well i was gonna say the great massacre of matt madness are we gonna I, I was gonna leave that i was not gonna bring that up. i know that's very kind of you i wanted to bring it up just to clear the air right um because some people we we posted the audio hey, before of, we get into the mix of it i just want to i just want to pour us something here why are you pouring it through a funnel because i like to measure it <laughs> Why are you being all weird? You're so dumb. I'm not dumb. Oh, I'm okay. Are you saying you got beat by a dummy? Yeah, I did. I'll admit that. Golly, dude. Do you know what happened? Uh, you won, and I, I failed. But, dude, so miserably. Dan, like, he's going to blame it. He's going to blame it either on his cat for freaking clawing at his junk, okay? Or he's going to be like, oh, I had Italian food for at recess today, okay? And then he's got that gum heartburn it's like he's 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 like oh no i heard zantac uh gives you cancer so i'm not taking that anymore. yeah there's other things out there that don't well we don't know we i mean we don't know the long-term effects but dude here's the deal do you know that i've i used to have to take a net i've been taking nexium a, every day since i've been 20 years old so like 46 years because i'm doing that intermittent fasting stuff like once a month yeah, because you're just not eating. I'm still I, eating no, I love garbage. That. I, I love had pizza yesterday. A, well, this is like a revelation that you have. Is like, man, if I don't eat food, I don't get heartburn. Right, <laughs> dude. We're having a we're having a nook party this week. I know. Right I'm not here. I know. I'm not there yet. What do you mean? You already derailed. Like I was going down a path to talk about the Matt Madness, right? And you're talking about the Nook Party. I'm gonna let you get back to that because I love it when you talk about this. So for the podcast audience that didn't watch Matt Madness because you haven't migrated over to YouTube yet to uh, watch some shenanigans, or to those of you watching here tonight right. that did not tune in because you saw the first one and thought I've had enough, um, Grease slaughtered, <laughs> slaughtered me in the matt madness competition put on by matt porter adhd whiskey like literally the amount of points differential like i could almost like get my learner's license it, i beat you by 14 points it was bad like one more point and literally like i'm driving a car and you're not even born yet and and the funny thing is is that and it used to be the highest one but then perry this week freaking slayed too came Every out of nowhere like a daggum Everyone, Harley Davidson first of in all, the 1970s. First of all, I think that Perry is like the the uh, Wichita State of the whole thing. I'm gonna say it's like he's he like, made no, the he's, tournament. He's he Hawaii. Made the tournament. No, no, no. He's Hawaii when Georgia. Remember when Hawaii went undefeated in in football? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about basketball because it's a tournament style, yeah. like basketball. Yeah, basketball is not that good though. You're so stupid. I'm just talking about like being like, you know, just a normal human. So we got to get this out of the way. Anyhow, congratulations, Grease. We did not record last week, but we did put out the audio of us on Blue Collar Bourbon. And we also put out a YouTube video, the top college pours. And a lot of people were commenting like, good to see that you guys buried the hatchet and put it away. And I was like, jokes on all y'all. We recorded all this before the competition. So. Oh, right. So there was still, until today, <laughs> right. it was dicey whether or not tonight was going to happen. Right. But, you know, I am uh, I may have not been a good sport. No, uh, I think good you were. loser that night. You were. Um, so I, I was legitimately not pleased right. with my performance. With your, not, that's it wasn't, the thing. It wasn't that's that a, you won. You should have said that on the live because as soon as we got backstage, yeah, I was like, Will, I, I'm so sorry, but because I, I literally, I'm like, you were, I mean, you sold it hard. Like you were super pissed and bummed. I was not pissed at you. I, I, I was so, like I said, just disappointed at how poorly I did. Right. And because I think you scored the lowest points ever. 
Like, Thank, thanks, bud. Like whenever you, you. When, like of people that actually scored a point, I'm not talking about like shelf turds because I mean I don't think that I think they goose egged it. They did not score a single point. Right. Yeah. So I'm just saying, out of the people that scored a point, I feel like, you know, I feel like you're you're the caboose. Yeah. So we've got a. I mean, you're a hot looking caboose. We've got a super chat up here. This is from Jason. Busey. He said, I hate to agree with Greasy, but fo football is much better than basketball, a.k.a. who can make LeBron cry this week. Hey, Jason, I wasn't saying this. I agree football is a better sport, but in this circumstance, basketball is the better analogy because ma right. madness is a direct parallel to March Madness. Like, right. that's the whole gimmick. Can we just talk about how America's favorite but, pastime but, is not a sport? Thank you, Jason, for the uh, five dollars super chat. Really appreciate that. Yeah, seriously. So I just have, I just need, I just need to either say something that people can get passionate about and agree with, or say something that people just get real pissed about and they'll just throw yeah. five dollars. Right, one hundred percent. So Greece, I can do that. Take all it away. Long. You, you just said, yeah, America's favorite pastime is not a sport. Right, baseball is not a sport. That's fine. I just I don't know of any other sport that has three and a half minutes of total action and that that consumes three hours of your time. We seen like gymnastics. Well, yes, but I mean the floor routine. That's like it's like two, two minutes. It's like two minutes, and then you got right. the beam. You said three and a half minutes. Yeah, all these things are like under three minutes of the people performing. I know, but it's all you know. You cumulate. It's cumulative, and they have multiple rounds. Yeah, that's what Sports Center is for. Sports Center is literally the gymnastics of baseball. You see the best part. You see all the action for right, like an hour. I, I will say, I will say, it does take some athletic ability to freaking dive for a ball. Hey, I do want to say. I think people are getting pissed. We Here's have, the deal, and there's no money coming in. I think I did not do it right. So we've got 91 people watching right now. Thank you so much. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not. Hit the thumbs up. It's free to do. Right. And it really helps the channel out. And ring the bell if you do subscribe because you'll get notifications when we go live. And we've got a really good upcoming uh, video that we just filmed. Listen, tonight. I swear on my life right now, here's what's going to happen. Anybody right now that hashtags Team Grease right now, you're getting a wrench. No, I'm you're not. I'm you're wrenching. Not. I'm wrenching you're the crap. Undo it because no. I don't trust half the people that would. Do no. a hashtag. You should say anyone who gives like $50 or something can be a, a wrench. No. Okay. If you give 99 cents or more right now, you're getting a wrench. This is the cheapest wrench I think you could ever get. All right. Okay. Um, Nate, Nate, uh, what? I can't read his last name. It's, it starts with a W. Whatever well, a lot is. of people, uh, we, is it all? It's Team Grease crazy right now. I, I love y'all, but we actually don't want these. Yeah, right, here's Eric Thompson. Let's see. Okay. Eric Thompson getting a wrench right now. I don't even care. Uh, so, oh, Eric Thompson, this is great. Just a great information. Booker's 2021-01 Donahoe's batch is really good if you're not a beam hater. I'm not a beam hater. Um, uh, I'm a we, beam, just, I, we just did a we just did a video. A video be forthcoming that basically we painted a picture of me and Will shirtless on a slip and slide chugging some daggum Jim Beam. We were in love with it so much. Eric, thank you so much for the five dollar super chat. We appreciate it. And that um, is a good tip. I haven't had that batch. Obviously, we're um, just now in 2021, but I'm going to have to seek it out because I do like a good Jim Beam Booker's. Uh, is it really nutty? Like, is that what you're saying? If you're not a beam hater, like, because it tastes very Jim Beamy. Um, so the the title of the show. I'm going to be completely honest with you, Will. Do you know how to wrench on mobile? No, and deal with that later. I'm going to deal go with back. that later. Yeah, I'm going to go have, back. We have a topic. We yeah, have a topic. Yeah, I know. We've got a topic. Stop thinking. Oh, Jason. Oh, J $50 super chat. Oh. Grease, you have a boogie or something hanging out, bud. Hashtag team grease. Ha hashtag Is he being for real? Like, how does he see that? No, no. All right. I swear on my life. So, what, dude, why didn't you be a bro? Like, why is Jason? I didn't see it, man. Okay, I'm not the video guy. He's completely lying. This is. Hey, can we get to our topic? Yeah, to bring up. Well, Jason derailed it, saying that I have no, no, no. Don't blame this on Jason. Thank you for the fifty dollars super chat. I'm just going to leave that up there because it also mocks Grease and simultaneously shows a good-hearted man okay. with a good-looking beard. Um, oh, dadgummit, Dan, like, okay, well, whoa, Dan, I don't I know think, if we, I, I don't Dan's, know if we can put this up. I think Dan's already a blue wrench. Dan says, Julie's in the shower, but I think she's been wondering why I have a wrench and she doesn't. So, oh, okay. Well, okay. So, so, so that's a, that's a, hey, bud, here's 25 bucks. Yeah. Please make Julie a wrench by the time she gets out of the shower. Yeah. All right. So that sounds weird. Don't, right. don't quote me on that. Okay. That sounds weird. Let's, let's settle. 
Right. So we're excited because we had a good, good conversation. Oh, yeah. We, we, when I say we pre gamed like a lot. Yeah. Um, we were, we basically shot, we took six shots before this live. So we're ready. What? Just say, um, don't don't give a shout out to his actual mother in law. Just say, can I get this is a four ninety nine super chat from Zachary Jones says, can I get the Savant Slayer to give a shout out to my mother in law? Her name is just say, just say Miss Mrs. Sherwood S- Lovehead. <laughs> I sure would love head. All right, no, Zach, no, Zach, I I'm about to. Her. I, I'm gonna ban Zachary. Zach, but yeah, thank you for Zach, your five dollars. Zach is like a, okay. He, he's a regular old bend right, over. Settle. <laughs> you know what settle. I mean? No. All Remember right. that one. I'm uh I'm banning Grease and and um and Zach. Okay, so here's what we got. I was out of town this weekend. Yes. Went down to see some family right. um in Birmingham and you saw your grandfather. I saw my grandfather. He's 93, just turned 93 in April. Um so it was and, like four generations just hanging out. Yeah. Well, no, because my um my parents weren't there. Oh my mom was either one of them. No, because I feel like you could have gotten them there if you'd asked. No, they were there the weekend before. Okay, so they were there in spirit. Well, they'd already been there, right? They weren't there present. They left their mark. It's fine. Yeah. Uh. So we um were hanging out, had a good time, and people always talk about control states and how how terrible it is and all that. And and they have a point, like control states. So uh, states that the alcoholic beverage sale goes through and is regulated by the government and the government owns the main outlets. Now, Alabama has like package stores, which is like even more expensive. Right. It's like because they're just buying it from the state and then having to mark it up more to make a profit. Uh, but the state is both the distributor uh, and the retailer. And so whereas in Tennessee, where we live, we have a three tiered mm-hmm. system where the the manufacturer, so Buffalo Trace, sells the product to a distributor who then receives the product in state and then they have a territory and they sell it then to the retailers who then sell it to the public. So right. us. Now, there's a lot of problems with that system. That's not the greatest system either. Mm-hmm. But there is one thing I hear over and over again about my friends from Alabama. And and I have a lot of them because I went to college in Alabama. I have family in Alabama is that we're a control state. We don't get anything. It's terrible. But you know, you know what? Sidebar here. Yeah. You know what you don't see in control states? Like a George T. Stag on the shelf for $850. Right. Right. Because yes, they, you just don't see it on the shelf, right? Yeah. You don't see it on the shelf, and and also a lot, it, and especially uh, during the pandemic and post pandemic, they are moving towards an online lottery, essentially. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So well, you got uh, uh, like Pennsylvania has been doing that for uh, quite a while. In Virginia, right. it, it was even before the pandemic, though, that you could kind of put your you you just put your name in for the allocated right. drawing at the end of the year, you much like be, you do. You have anywhere. to be a resident, and it's the whole state wide, so it's the state's allocation, then goes out. So it's a different way to do it. There's pros and cons, and I feel like in in bourbon, people will always find a reason to not be perfectly happy. And so, no matter what the system is, it's nothing's going to be perfect when you have something that's scarce. You know, everyone's going to unless everyone can have it right because if it's scarce then nobody's going to get it you know what i mean or like a lot of people aren't going to get it so obviously if you don't get it you're not going to be happy with the system yes you know what i mean right exactly right so it's, I, but i do it, it, and there it's, is it's the it's catch 22 right and it's kind of like uh you know the, like these bourbon clubs right like you pay money to be a part of them um but you really narrow your odds of getting them and so it but then there's people that aren't happy that the store doesn't let anyone get them. Right. So well, you're, it's a gam- it's a gamble. Because you're paying two hundred dollars to be in that club, and you might get Weller's Best Reserve. <laughs> I, I don't think I paid two hundred to be in that club. It was like one twenty five. It was one twenty five. Yeah. And it was you and the one drawing a year. Well, the problem with that club was they let too many people in. Right. And so like therefore, people in there. they made good money. So Andrew Boland just said, coming in hot. So just started a dry month. So I'll just be watching tonight. Thumbs down, thumbs down. Time to lose some pounds for the beat. Andrew, I'm down 42 pounds, dude. You inspired me. Yeah. Dude, Greece we were on. Just we were, doesn't eat. He no, we only were, drinks. We were stuck on. I, I, I hate to say the word stuck on the elevator, but I felt stuck because we got on the elevator and there was that weightlifting competition or like bodybuilding competition. Right. Not weightlifting. Right. 
And there was a referee that got in there. And, dude, she looked like she could rip some heads off. And, Dagum Andrew looks at her as if he's like I was in the in elevator the as well. But he looked at her like she, he was in the know. And he was like, so how many, how many days off until you're dry or something like that? Till you're dried out. Till you're dried out. And I was like, what the crap? Does, what are you talking about, dude? And he meant like I think they just don't they don't drink water for like a day. Like, well, it's like, like you month. gotta you gotta like get all like because you want your muscles to pop, so you don't want like fluid, right? And so that it, like this is actual real thing, right? So, <laughs> right. Got, anyhow, whatever. Brian yeah. is on here and says from Virginia today we received twenty five thousand and forty four entries in the Rock Hill Farms lottery, while only one hundred and twenty bottles were available. So. Okay. Okay. So right, we're getting so we're better, getting to this. We're you getting have the better odds. Time. You have better odds than getting a scratch, like winning on a scratch off. Well, like, we're like hundred bucks. We're getting we're getting to the point. Um, but the anyhow, all this to say, I was in Alabama. People complain about it a lot. They they can't get anything. However, and I know this is something that uh, I talked to Kevin Hasselwander today. I called Jason right before the show. Missed the call. He called me back while we were recording our videos i didn't get to follow up but a lot of states because they are both the distributor and the retailer in control states you can check the inventory online right so i know you can do that in pennsylvania and i know you can do it in utah because i know for a fact that jason was checking inventory mm -hmm. saw there was some kentucky i am 99 sure north carolina is the same yes so they they check the inventory and we're able to then Go, oh, the store has Kentucky Owl Rye Batch 4. I'm going to go grab it. Right. So so it takes a little bit out of the having to go to all these stores and ask the question. And 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 especially for an introvert like me, like that's not what you mm -hmm. want to be spending your time on. Right. But Alabama just launched an app. And, about a month ago. Yeah, it was about a month ago. So and a little late called, to the game, but I don't think anybody's really talking about it. It's called AL Boss. AL boss. Okay. It, so literally it's got a dude in an apron as the, you can't see it, but okay. uh, you can see uh, Sanford tower there okay. at uh, all. Well, just go, go and add the app right now. Cause I'm yeah. going to go ahead and tell you something. We're, we're telling you about this because you need to add the app. Well, and I know I have a lot of friends in Alabama that none of them in our conversation right. since I saw this has been launched have mentioned right that like oh hey by the way well i so, mean anybody in the south that's going to freaking destin well, 30 a there. area i'm getting there you know what i'm saying right i'm getting there okay i've got a whole i've got a narrative well you're i've got so a narrative Beckham, i've you're, got a narrative you're not a good storyteller i need some hashtag team greases up there. so here's what we got so here's what i did I'm sitting there at my mother-in-law's house and I check, I download this app and uh, I go to spirits, click that. And I go to whiskey with an EY. They have an adjust whiskey with a Y category. Right. And it literally is just names of whiskey. You can just scroll through and through. Right. And then what you do is you, and it's going to be a little skewed because I'm back in Tennessee, but so say I want, uh, Let's see. Let's find something. Well, the, the main thing that was in there was the store picks. Well, no, no, no. You're not. You're, you're getting ahead of yourself again. Well, how am I getting ahead of myself? Because that's not what I'm going. Because that's not specifically where I have okay. to get to that. How many times have you been on Bourboner or any other bigger group, right? And, and no. seen somebody say, hey, I am traveling from point A. No, 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 no. To point you're B. missing to what my point. I'm talking about this. Then I'm going to talk about the store picks because it's a different section. So give me a second. Oh, I want to talk about store picks. Well, you're not the one who knows about this. Hey, hashtag Team Grease on the chat if you hashtag want. If you want to hear Team Dumbass. If you want to, if you want to hear about store picks. Okay, so I'm going to go to say I want Early Times Bottle and Bond Hundred Proof Liter. It tells me the price. And they're all state run, so I know it's going to be the same price. Right. It's twenty four ninety nine. Oh yeah. No, no, no. One of the best values in whiskey. That's five dollars cheaper than we can get it. That's my point. Right. Everyone always dogs Alabama for their high liquor taxes. Right. Some of these prices, I was shocked at seeing. That's actually a really good price. And so you click it, and then it tells me where now. Okay, I'm two hundred miles away from the closest store. But when I was at my mother in law's house, I clicked it, and it was like your point four miles, like the store closest to me, it registered and it said they have seven in stock. So this one that's 200 miles away uh, in Greenville, Alabama has 17 in stock at that price. 
So I went through and I did find two things we're going to drink here in a second, but then we'll get to the store books. Mm. But um, I was looking through all these because it's just straight up and you can search and you can look at your store and see what's in stock. There's different functionality. But I saw the um, I just want on record that Tarek Patel uh -huh. hashtag team grease elixir spirits on his work on his dadgum everybody knows who okay. elixir is hashtag team grease so just want it on the record so uh we have uh, i saw virgin bourbon which is 101 proof seven year old that is a lot of people love it it's a, like a bottom shelf kind of gym we don't have it in tennessee right we can't get it here 15.99 right so i clicked it and it said they had seven in stock at the store Right there. So I'm like, I don't like, normally like go point in seven miles away. I don't normally go into the ABC store like why when would, I'm in town. Right. Because the connotation is so bad. It's so bad. But I'm like, oh, I'm going to go. And then I also saw they had Virginia Gentlemen, which I didn't know they still made. Mm. And I was like, okay, first of all, okay, this app is going to be wonky. It's the inventory is off. So I clicked it. And sure enough, it said they had it in stock. They had three in stock. So I went to the store the next day. I bought those two. We're going to drink them here. I'll be honest with you. I'm surprised it, that Alabama even allows another state named product right. to be in but their it's, state. It's made by A. Smith Bowman now. It's owned by Sazerac. Right. Okay. So it's yes. it's an 80 proof, basically Wait, okay. 80 so proof so it's, Bowman Brothers. It's Bowman Brothers. Right. So I bought it for us to try right. because we've never had it. Because how much do you pay for it again? You that said, one was 30 bucks. So, okay. 30 bucks. okay, so that's around the price of uh, not the John. That but the, one I uh, honestly think we're going to say probably pass on for the price because I don't know that it's going to be that yeah, great. 30 is 30 a good 30 is a good chunk for any all that to say. Now, I asked Kevin Hasselwander about their app. I said, y'all have an app. And he told me right, our statistician. Yes. He told me the app in Pennsylvania is called Fine Wine and Good Spirits. Right. And he said the search function is kind of crappy. If you don't precisely say it, he said, like old granddad, if you say it as granddad, two words, no results. Okay. So like you have to, if you're searching for something, have right. to say it perfectly or it won't register. Um, but he said, that's kind of like with me and you, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> Lord knows, <laughs> like if I don't say it perfectly, <laughs> no, if I don't say it perfectly, you have no idea what I'm talking about. You're right. Well, Right. Or and it something. may or may not be perfect. So, but back to the other thing. Um, I'll put these up. Oh, and dude, and how like vintage does this bottle look? Yeah. Like this looks like a dusty. Like if this had a little shade to <laughs> there it. There actually is some dust on it. So I don't think anyone's been buying it. Little dust on the bar. Um, but back to what you were saying about store picks, and this I like too, because it's um since all the store picks are coming through the state, uh, you can go to the news section. And you can go to single barrel selection. So this was 2018. Laser code. And it, they have a barrel program. And they have the monthly calendar of single barrel releases. So this is something that's cool. Because they uh, they tell you where they're going. And right. what. So in what's today, this month? June. They have a four rows of single barrel coming. Uh, double and Yeho single is it, barrel. Is it, is it a barrel Dome. proof or is it the normal hundred proof offering? The four roses. It does not say. It just says four roses. You got to roll the dice on that. Well, yeah. I mean, still, you're getting a four roses store pick. So, right. And then they have a maker's private select coming. Who, who, and in, in May, in they ABC had, government controlled states, who picks those barrels? It depends. It, I mean, it could be the senator. No. No, it's probably if the senator likes whiskey and he wants to pick a barrel. I'm assuming the he could probably make that not happen. A part of the executive function of the state. Okay, who's that guy uh, that was at? He was a little short dude. He was on Trump's cabinet for like a hot minute, and then he got everybody got upset. He was from Alabama. The little guy from Alabama. You Jeff know, Sessions, uh, we're just gonna move. Jeff on. Sessions, my, that might have been. Why are you bringing politics in? No, I'm not bringing politics. You, I'm you just saying, literally just did. Well, no, no, he's in political office. I don't care about it. I'm just saying, like, that literally, someone has with no, some that flex, has nothing to do with it. It does. We're talking about government control. No, we're talking you don't about think a we're senator? talking about a federal office, and we're talking. Yes, okay. Do I think that there's someone's using influence in the state of Alabama to get something? Right. Yeah, we know there's political corruption, and and basically right. every. I'm just saying, if Mad Dog Mattis shows up in Alabama, he's like, "Hey, listen here, I we're need to gonna, pick a barrel." We're gonna we're gonna 
go on and say that I think it's probably people that just work for the ABC. That's probably, pro that, I mean, that's probably the so, logical but then, answer. So anyhow, then they have like the monthly limited release. You can look at the, so May um, had you click and you get a spreadsheet of which stores. So in Auburn, they had Barrel, Armida Bourbon, Blanton's, Buffalo Trace, E.H. Uh, e. Taylor, Makers Wood Finishing Series, the Thomas Moore Cask, Weller right. Antique. So they're telling you what's coming in and which stores are getting it. And right. so, so it, it's basically all this to say is there's a lot of information that you can kind of plan instead of literally just throwing spaghetti at the wall, trying to find a store right. that has what you want. Well, the good thing is, is like you don't necessarily whiskey hunt in controlled states. No, right. It's exactly. Just, it's just, it's got the, it's got a bad taste in your mouth. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not great because everybody just rags on it. However, if, if I live in Indiana and I'm headed to freaking 30 a, and I'm driving my minivan with six kids, you know what you're not going to do? Stop at 10 liquor stores. Right. But you know what you could do? Hey babe, can you drive for like two hours? And you or map out or check the day before you go, like right. download the app and know which cities. Well, but the day you can before, check. the day, I mean, inventory might change though slightly, especially it's if there's a store pick it's or probably not going to change. Well, for, the other thing too is that if it's like you see the release calendar, it's I don't. Uh, hopefully, people in Alabama know about this right. and they're going to get their totally. Stuff, well, so. and two, if, if you see a release calendar on something, go ahead and assume that there's going to be a line. However, you have just as much information as a resident of that state. I like this. This is from Matt Bourbon. It says people have this odd expectation. Just walk into a liquor store and see BTAC for MSRP waiting for them. That's not going to happen regardless of state laws. Demand is so much greater than supply. Right. It's 100 percent And that's where I get to. Do you think as his well. real last name is Bourbon? <sighs> yeah, I really do. Dad Gilman, that'd be bad. He's eh? French. Um, so Bourbon. Bourbon is French. Stop it! I, That's a no. I bourbon is bourbon is dadgum the American. Name, the name it's from the House of Bourbon. It's French royalty. You idiot! That's I'm going, why. That's I'm going literally to, why it's Bourbon Street. This in is Louisiana. why we're so. This is this is why this is why the French and the U.S. aren't like always great. Finish that whiskey while I finish talking about this. All this to say is that back to to Matt Bourbon's point is that. And what you said earlier, you're not going to walk into a store in Alabama and see uh, $800 George T. Stag sitting there. No. But. Well, because they, you have. Because the government's not going to charge $800. You have the information at hand to know. Also, I can walk into stores around here and them not have a common thing. Right. So like old granddad 114. I went to three stores trying to find that. Mm -hmm. But what I could do if I had that, which we can't do this in a, in a, a mm -hmm. three tier state because the distributors would have to be contributing to it. The other people would have to be contributing to it. And you're never going to necessarily always find the perfect amount of information. But when there's only one person that has the inventory list, mm -hmm. you can then go through guys. Let me. And if I wanted to find something, I can look up and see just which stores have it and then go within right. my city. And that's, a really big tool. Same with Pennsylvania. Uh, Kevin said, use the website, not the app. Right. Utah, all these states that are control states and have the state government uh, with the inventory list, the master list. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, if it's one left, you may have to call or just go check. You know, if there, there's a right, a you're dealing with for, you're, you're dealing with government inventory, right? But at the it's same not time, gonna be great. I was able to go and get these two things that I saw that I would not have gone to the right. store unless I looked at the inventory list. Have you talked about the barcode scanner? Because it's sweet. I have not yet. Yeah. Okay, so if you download this app, number one, we're telling you right now to download this app. If you remotely go, it's in, called AL Boss. Yeah. If you go in, right, it's like like a boss, Alabama. <laughs> so if you go by, if you have people in Alabama that you're friends with that could get you stuff, one, two, that's great. Two, if you're traveling to Alabama, this is a must pick up app. Literally. If you're getting low on some of the of your maybe your daily drinkers that you in your market, maybe it's shallow right now. It's yeah. not there or it you don't get it, period, in that market. 
I just scanned this Virginia bourbon and that's virgin bourbon. Oh yeah. Virgin bourbon. <laughs> that's what I thought you said. Oh wait, hang on. This is Virginia, that's Virginia gentleman. gentleman. Yep. Okay. I got it confused. Um, you just scan it. You scan the barcode and it pops out three locations that are the closest to me. Uh, and then you can also you see, can see go more. to more. Yeah. yeah you can go to more and all see those more. are going to be as far north as possible. Cause we're in Tennessee, right? So. Cause we're in Tennessee, super quick, consistent pricing, and you can go and get it. And at, we can't, like Will said, we can't get these here. Yeah. But if we're traveling through Alabama, you know what we they just have? check the site. You know what they have in Alabama? What? Give, hand me that JW Dant. JW Dant. They have liters of JW Dant, and I think it's only like a, a $15. So I'm going to scan the barcode on this. Yeah. I just feel like this is like this is like a statistician's like dream. You know what I mean? Like somebody's going to make an Excel sheet about this. You know, I mean, there's Excel sheets on here. What do you mean? Okay, so because this is 750, I don't think it's scanning. They don't have it. But I looked up that there was uh they had leaders and it's like 15 bucks and I can see where to go. It's like Muscle Shoals. Right. There's a store. It's like uh okay. Which I would put J W well, a liter of JW Dance probably Yeah, that's 15 that's good, bucks. That's a good price though. Yeah. Oh no, and it's a, JW for a liter? Dance, great. And we can't get that here. Right. That's the other thing. So it's like, do I I'm traveling, I'm gonna go see my my mother in law. Mm -hmm. Uh I'm going to go. I am out of JW Dan. Right. I'm going to see which stores have it. So I'm not. Can you sort time. by price? Because I don't know. Because I, I'm just, I, I asked that because, hey, I'm an, I'm new to whiskey. I'm new to bourbon. Okay. And I'm traveling through Alabama. I want to bring up all the whiskeys. I don't think I'm sort, by, sort price. by price and just see like for $200, can you literally like load up on 10 whiskeys? But you, you, I can, feel like you can. You can go to, and just uh, diversify your cabinet. You can go to find stores. And so you can look and say, it's like, okay, I'm in Gunnersville. I'm, right. I'm in, or you're headed to Foley, Alabama. And click you, Foley. You can, no, I'm okay. in Gunnersville, Greece. Why, why are you in Gunnersville? Because I'm at the lake. That's near a lake? Yeah. There's, lake, a, there's actually lake, a lot of <laughs> Lake Gunnersville, dum dum. It's a huge lake. Okay. The only lake in Alabama is Lake Martin. Well, that's also another huge lake, but a lot further down south. But you can look at the entire store's inventory. So, right. it, I don't know. It's fun. And to some people that are in, and, and Brandon Rice asked, what's the name of the app? It's AL Boss. Yeah. Um, but uh, a lot of people in control states are probably like, ago. It, yeah, man, and, and this, is, this is all literally just stuff we do. It's like, right. But don't necessarily be so down on your mm -hmm. states uh, because I had to go to three liquor stores to find uh, old granddad 114. Right. If I were in Alabama, yeah. I could have just seen which ones right. had what I needed and gone and picked it yeah. up. So that's it. Uh, Wendell Wilson but that's said, a bit, but like you said, that's a benefit to a controlled distribution and retail market because they know all those numbers and they know exactly what's yeah, going. And that's the thing is that it, I don't you think can't once it like a distributor is going to branch out to, you know, 300 stores, right? You can't go to those 300 stores and see what they have, but you can, and, but and you store know owners immediately hate when you call and ask, do you have that? You know, it's right. like that. It's just, people are so over that, that you can just know before you go, but there's now, are there, there's, are there state, do they own, are there owners of those stores? No, the state right, owns the state, it. Yeah, it's the it's their ABC it. stores. Right. Al so Alcohol, they just employ uh, Alabama beverage. So Definitely hang on a second. Control. Can you be a government employee with benefits and work at a liquor store? Sounds great. Well, I mean, probably. Right. Anyhow, um, all that to say, it's uh, you got to find the pros and cons. You got to a lot of people that listen live in control states. So this is a perk that we don't have. And that also it's a strong it's perk, dude, the, Espe especially if you don't have the bandwidth and the time. Well, back to what I was saying is that there's bourbons. Uh, finding the bourbon you want is getting harder, not easier. And not just right. for like the Buffalo Traces and everything. It's even things like Bottled and Bond Old Granddad, 114 Old Granddad, Knob Creek, uh, you know, things of that. You can't, you're not guaranteed every store right. you go into is going to have that. And so they're, they're, and not I don't putting, think Weller Special Reserve is on like the draw. Uh, right. That so is, I mean, that, that's not going to, that's not on their list. The all of the Weller are not on their, um, inventory list because i don't think alabama gets a lot of it oh, okay gotcha uh but back to also to the point of uh of brian in virginia that said there were so many entries the part of the problem maybe that virginia needs to do is not do quarterly drawings or just one product drawing 
and make it so that they do a huge drawing at the end of the year of all their stuff right. so it's that, like for rock hill farms that's one product and you got 120 bottles for twenty four thousand people right but if there was 120 bottles along with every other allocated product if they just did one at the end of the year right and then that's how you did it right then more people would have an opportunity to get it right and and the odds of because you can you can be looking repicked are are going down as well because of that and so we can because of every this. allocated product you could be looking as a state at the 10,000 number. Brad Smith, thank you for the $5. This is great information. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I thought it was fun. I thought it'd be a really cool... Well, it's new. It's, it's positive, too. You know, it's like, this is... People are... All, I, I have so many friends in Alabama. It's like, we don't get anything. And I want to be like... It's hard to get stuff now, too, here. You know? Right. But if I had a tool like this in Nashville, yeah. it'd be so much better. We if have, I could, just well, know. we have relationships in this area. If we didn't have relationships, it's like, like, like what, what do you do? All right. Like there's so many times I text Don We're or drinking I text now. Tarek or I text Lana and like, I'm like, Hey, do y'all have these? If so, I'm coming over. Or if so, Hey, throw a six pack in the back. Um, but no, here's the deal. Will we're kind of early in this. It's it, you're not seeing a huge press release nationally on this app, okay? And so here's the well, deal. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Alabama thinks that people really care nationally that they have this. A hundred percent. But here's the deal: it's actually more of a benefit nationally for people that are traveling through there. And if you if you look at our thumbnail, okay, the map uh, on the thumbnail is actually up to date as far as what are the controlled states in America. So if you look on there and that state is blue, okay? Yeah. Not a political affiliation. No, that was just the map from like That's just, the Alcoholic Beverage Control Association. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, um, no. And so it's if you look at that map, okay, go and check all of those states, see if they have an app, see if they have a website that keeps up with those inventories. We've mentioned a few that we know for sure, but if you're headed to from point A to point B, with it's literally the number one question, and people get a lot of crap for it. But, hey, I'm driving through. Where should I stop? Right, I'm from I'm from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, headed to freaking uh, Dallas, Texas. Right. Any honey holes I should check out on the way? The thing is, are you going to find BTAC on the shelf? No, you're no. not. But no. you know what? You could find ten store picks along your route. Right. You know what I mean? Of stuff that you're not going to get store picks of. Right. And you're dealing with a whole different market, okay? Whole different market when you're going into individual states that are controlled like that. Because you don't know if they could be well or like, well, I don't know if is Oklahoma. That, that's not a controlled state. I don't know, Greece. I don't. We gotta check the thumbnail. No, I'm I don't just saying they're is. well or crazy over there. Different markets get higher yields of certain things uh, based on, you know, other like that same company's other lower tier offerings it's kind of the same with like liquor stores like Tarek, like he's gonna order a crap ton of wheatley vodka hoping that he can escalate his btac his pappy you know his buffalo trace allocations and that's yeah. just how it works and so if if in the states can also play that game as right. well it's like okay you know what tito's you're out wheatley you're in Let's get a bunch of BTAC next year. They have yeah. the power to do that because right. they control it all. I'm well, just saying. And that's, I think, part of the problem when you're dealing with like a state bureaucracy is that like it would be great if the ABC of Alabama were thinking that way, but they also may not think that way knowing like, oh, if we push this one product, because I don't think that they're really like business minded in an odd way. Mm -hmm. So I want this is from Tarak. He says, sometimes it's hard to get. Uh, a black label Jack Daniels 175. Okay, I thought he was some of the actor. Well, I don't think that he's trying to sell 1.75s of an right. actor, but he's like, it's hard to get Jack Daniels black. Uh, I so think he's on vacation this week, old number seven for 1.75, uh, because of supply issues. That's a thing, like it also tells you in the app if you go to Jack Daniels, it you can click 750. 1.75 you can see stores that have the handle so it's not even or even like 50 milliliters uh-huh so you can see which stores have like even sizes you want so that's that's a good point right as well. you definitely want to know the size you're getting before you get there yeah i you think you're clever but you're not so this is what we're drinking this is the first one this one was 29 dollars. it is um fell flat 
It, it wasn't funny. So this is Virginia gentlemen. It is the bourbon of Virginia. It's uh, a Virginia bourbon, straight bourbon whiskey. It says distilled in Kentucky and redistilled in Virginia. What we know is that um, the A. Smith Bowman distillery takes Buffalo Trace distillate, redistills it, and then right. ages it in Virginia. So this is 80 proof uh, Virginia bourbon that's from A. Smith Bowman. So it's owned by Sazerac. Yeah. Do you think Sazerac does that so that it's just not Buffalo Trace? No, I think they do that so it's a Virginia bourbon. Right. Yeah. Well, okay. That's okay. That's kind of the same thing I'm saying. No. I'm just saying that they they guarantee a diversification in that brand by doing it that way is what I'm saying. Okay, You're not dealing not with an MGP aged up product and then they only take it and age it for a couple more years in a, in a different climate. You know what I mean? It's just an extra step as far as that's what I'm saying. Okay, fine. It smells good. It smells good. What is this again? This is the Virginia gentleman. So this is basically going to be an 80 proof um, Bowman Brothers, if, if you want to think about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, man. Finish, a lot of flavor. Palette, yeah, not so much. It's just, yeah. Uh, you're right. The finish is really good. Yeah. The finish lingers. The palette is super thin. Here's the deal. We also... Super crushable. We we, we drink 107 proof. Is Dude, we've, drank, we've, drank, we've drank so much tonight already. No, like, but we drank all cocktails. I None of that was going to burn our palate. We out. shot. We. Yeah, I understand. I'm just saying, like, we're not, like, 100% zoned in right now. Or maybe we are. I am. Um, <laughs> Cody, our buddy Cody Breeding, he says Hartzell ABC uh, used to have a fairly decent selection. Obviously, none of the buzzword bourbons aside from super occasional Buffalo Trace mm -hmm. and Eagle Rare. Uh, right. Old Manger was a big bourbon guy. The other thing, too, is like walking to a store here to get Buffalo Trace is not necessarily like once I, I just go back. No, to a lot, you, a you lot have to know, you have to have a network of people that can look out for you and let you know one. Two, you have to be in with a store or to know, just know three, or be in a bourbon club to get bourbon tray to get uh buffalo or trays just on know what right uh when when they put it on the shelf because it's it's right. one time a month because the distributor of that i guess i think is is that best brands yeah so mm -hmm. best brands in this area so if you kind of know when their deliveries are coming in but here's the deal a lot of those places are going to keep that stuff back that's what i'm saying like the like a lot of those are just going to throw out a bottle or two on not, the shelf. Not a Buffalo Trace. I mean, I've seen them just put out a bottle or two on the shelf. I see most of them. Let people the take a picture and say, hey, there's a Buffalo Trace which here. Sto which store did that one? Okay. I see it all. I see the pictures online. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Hey, if you're watching, thank you so much. We appreciate you guys. We're a new channel. Okay. We've been doing a podcast for five years. We're new to yeah. YouTube as of like four months ago. Right. Uh, we would love it if you thumbs up, subscribed, and shared this with your friends. Share it with your bourbon groups. We're trying to add value. We're trying to push content out there. Um, we really love this YouTube community, um, and we love all the people that we're getting to meet. And, yeah, so check check that out and share that with your friends and family so that y'all can talk about us at Thanksgiving. Because, I, I mean, I just I love, bar pass I love talking about gentlemen. you at Thanksgiving. Buy bar pass to Virginia, gentlemen. How much is it? It was $29. bucks. Mm, i am passing. You're passing. I'm passing on it only because here's the deal. The finish is memorable. I'm kind of conflicted. If the finish was remotely, you mean if the palette was remotely, if the palette was remotely like the finish, no brainer. It's a buy. No you, brainer. You for know, me. I think, I, I think you're right. Uh, I, you're not going to find it in a bar. I've never seen I literally it. swished it around on my tongue for five seconds and got, minimal flavor as soon as i swallow it's a flavor freaking bomb it that it, it's, it's, it's very apple yeah. it's like an apple it's like a caramel apple finish here's the thing i bought it because of my virginia ties like i like virginia i like the virginia gentleman i have an old dusty mini of the same label from like the 60s so mm. yeah i like that i like having that but um I, i'm with you Bowman Brothers, ninety proof. I like Bowman Brothers. That's what I'm saying. Now, the proof. only Bowman Brothers I don't like is that port finish, that Isaiah, which they're still. By the way, I think that was. I, I think it's Isaac. Isaac. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, a biblical name. Um. Let's see. 
I'm just saying, like that has been that's still on the shelf, and that was released what three years ago, right? Well, no, it's it's like they put it out still. I thought it they a, it I, wasn't but, a one no, but one. I thought those are I thought the Isaacs were special releases because we had the Merlot one. No, we had the no. That's Abraham Bowman. Oh, and I'm those are Abraham. Different. Yeah, no, the Isaac was the port finish. And I'm it's sorry, I ISO Abraham anything. By the way, um, I'm seeing if they have Bowman in dude, I f- dude in uh, Alabama, the- and to see if because if you can get Bowman Brothers, it's definitely buy it over that. Um, have I'm seen. It. Were you here? I think it was the last Nook party. By the way, for those of y'all that don't, th- we call this the Nook. Okay, it's in my basement and. You call this the nook. Well, who doesn't call it the nook? Well, we've had to follow along. Yeah. Um, but uh, at the last nook party, I think we cashed that Merlot Abraham Bowman. Cool. And it, but and you thought you might have had COVID, so that's why you stayed away. I did not think I had COVID. Well, you you needed to you needed to not come because you I was potentially, potentially were exposed. exposed right. right. Exactly. So I right. did the um the nice the thing. responsible thing, and that was in August. So I don't think they have John J. Bowman or uh, Bowman Brothers. It's not listed in the inventory on the app. Mm. So this may be the only thing you can get. But if you're side by side, if you're saying this or even the Bowman Brothers, which is like the entry level, I a hundred percent say Bowman Brothers. And I think sadly it, this is a buy at like fifteen dollars. Oh yeah. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah. thirty, it's a it's a pass. At, Unfortunately, at fifteen dollars, a hundred percent, that's yeah. a buy. At thirty, no, it's that's what I'm saying. Like this is good. Like this is a good. This is a good offering. It's just it it doesn't meet the price. So this is Virgin Bourbon. This is hundred one proof. It is charcoal filtered. It is distilled in Bardstown, Kentucky. Interesting. So it is most likely, and people will probably correct me, but I'm pretty H- haven't sure. Haven't we had is, a? Haven't we had like a dusty of this Evan from Hill. Joe B? No. What was that? What was the? It looked like you a similar bottle. You have water in there. That was. Um, well, it was actually a Virginia gentleman, but no, it's kind of like water. What I'm telling the, you, dude. The no, finish I your on glass this out for you. No, he, no, you didn't. Here's the deal about this Virginia gentleman. I think it's a buy if you lean towards a finish. Like it like if you if you're like I don't really care about the nose, I don't really care about the palate, you're a finished person, which a lot of I'm a finished person. I'm just not like I do. I I lean towards something that is it lingers on the finish. Bob and James from BS and Bourbon same way. Which by the way, if y'all don't Grease is so hyper tonight. If y'all don't Grease is so hyper tonight. Why do you got? Why do you got to call me out? Because you're so hyper. I mean, I'm excited. I can tell you're extremely hyper. You have not been here in two weeks. I know because we were in a fight. We weren't in a fight. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, I won and you lost, but I mean, that doesn't right. mean we're in a fight. Yeah. No, no, it did. No. Okay. So BS and Bourbon is a podcast. Okay. We have them as special guests at Whiskey Weekend. They're coming to Whiskey Weekend Batch 4. They're closing that crap down on, on the last night, which is appropriate because those freaking dudes party, okay? Grease they just, is so... Fanboy. So, no, so all over the place tonight. You can't stay on the track. I'm pouring this. I was trying pouring this to talk about it. Well, I was talking... You're now talking about an no, episode of BS and Well, Bourbon. Bob and James... No, I understand. They gravitate towards a finish. They actually no, might say this is a buy for 30 bucks. I'm the finish saying, is so good. You're about to talk about an episode of a show. Like, you're so rabbit Because trail. those dudes I are unappreciated. Like, dude, their content is freaking great. Their podcast that they released this morning is freaking stupid. Awesome. I've not laughed that... Let me go ahead and tell you something. If you're watching this right now, okay, search for BS and Bourbon on any podcast platform, Spotify, Google Play, whatever, Apple, and listen to the first two minutes. And if you don't die laughing, your stomach hurts, then just don't subscribe. If you do, hit the subscribe button. It's freaking great. Our friend Tracy. um, Yeah, Tracy right down here. She's coming to the Nook Party. You won't let me finish a sentence tonight again. You're back in your your unhealthy grease face. Really? I was trying. To, I was. Okay, so in I'm an enneagram three. I, no, I'm you're trying an to enneagram out, idiot. And well, I'm just trying to figure talking. out what I lean when you I'm lean unhealthy. unhealthy. Unfortunately, <laughs> you're probably the healthiest you've ever been, which is bad. I need you to be a little bit less healthy. 
Right. I need you to be like a little bit more down. I need to hit the five guys. I need you to be a little bit more blue. Like sad. Okay. Yeah, oh my gosh. I, 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 I didn't know we were on the planet where colors were associated with emotions. Okay. Tracy was, I was just going to validate what you were saying. She was saying it was really funny, but you had to interrupt me. Like, she's coming to the nook party. It's like, I know I got it. Oh, you were going to say she's coming to the nook party. That was your, no, that was where you were landing. No, on you that? didn't hear what I said. I want to hear what you say. I want to, I want I you to do that. I was right going to validate what you were saying about the episode of BS and bourbon. Okay. What'd she say? I doesn't met. She said it was really funny. Right. Okay. And she's a lady, like a sophisticated lady. Travis is questionable, but Tracy, for, dude, she gave me like 17 ibuprofens whiskey weekend batch three. I wish she would have given you a sedative. I don't, I'm not against that. Okay. What so do now we do. Gonna, okay. Now we're going to drink. Oh, they sedate. That's the root word. That's the Latin. The Latin hey, word listen, of sedative listen. is sedation. Everyone's watching. Right. I'm speaking into you. I, I need you to, I need you to cut it in half. Okay. You're so excited. Hashtag hit Team Grease if you want me to not I'm listen gonna to end. Will. I'm, li I'm just going to end it. <laughs> no, don't hit end. I'm going to hit end. If don't you, hit end. This is me. Hold. This is an intervention. We have 125 people that. I And I need you to cut it in half so we can have a conversation. Okay, what about like 60%? If you don't understand what I'm talking to you from my heart and you think you can respond with 60%, that means I need to end the broadcast. No, I, but mm -hmm. I think you want me at 60 I want you at 40, but we're going to compromise at 50. I'll game. I'll game with that. All right. So we're going to drink this uh, virgin bourbon. Can I just give you the 50% up front and then just not talk the rest of the time? I, that's a question. That's, that's a logical question. Do not get, get rid of do Get your finger off that daggum butt. Do you know what I'm saying though? No, I want you to just be normal for two more minutes. Okay. Is this, this is virgin, virgin bourbon. It's 101 proof. It's a uh, heaven Hill distillate. We don't get it here, but I've seen a lot of people like it. This was $15. Do you have to be a virgin to drink it? Oh, where's the, where's the <laughs> bucket? <laughs> oh man. Oh. I, can't, I can't wait to go to third base with this. <laughs> Will agrees. That's what it's that's what people are, that's what they're gonna put up on social media. Will agrees just went to third base with a virgin because we're okay. Thank God. Thirty percent. I need you at thirty. <laughs> if this is forty, need another ten out. I love you like fire. Like it, like dude, you're fire on a deserted island without any flint. You know what I'm saying? Like dad gun like rain dancing around that thing, dude. Now this is a buy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a hundred. Like I'd pay thirty dollars for this. I switch them. Is that what you can do? Yeah, that's exactly how it works. Do they have the switch button in that Alabama app? Um, this <laughs> is stupid. Good. Fifteen dollars. I'm gonna go send my mother in law and be like, "Hey, get me a, a sixer. Case. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I'm dead. I want one too. I know. I'm dead serious. Yeah, it's 15 bucks. They, had, they had plenty on the shelf actually there. I'm not going to say which. Well, I scanned ABC. the daggum thing and it was like there's seven team here. Right. Yeah. There's I mean, clearly Alabama here. gets this one and it's good. I know that Dustin Peed has uh, swiped some when he was in Alabama. Right. And let me just go ahead and tell you something. We're landing this plane here pretty soon. So if you want a wrench, I'm literally giving a wrench to everyone that gives a dollar or more on Super Chess. Uh, also, if I'm you're, giving Julie like like 17, if wrenches. you're new to this, uh, I would go ahead and subscribe. Yep. Hit the thumbs up. thumbs up. We'd appreciate that. And, and share with your friends and family and bourbon groups. Yeah. hundred percent. Because we'd love that. Yeah. We just, we want to keep growing, keep doing stuff. We're having a lot of fun. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, and that's free to do, fantastic. by the way. I'm that's literally all that is free to do. We're not asking you for anything. Yeah. Um, but if you want to buy like a <laughs> Cameron says, hey, Will, lay off. Hashtag release the grease. No, actually, if you want to see grease released, Whiskey Weekend Batch 4, um, you right. gonna have, it's going to be, you got to wait online like you're yeah, it's technically uh, sold out. You like, yeah, I'm saying like there's you're a digital for, queue right like now. You're waiting for a BTAC drawing, right? Well, there's a digital queue right now. So if that's you go, literally why I said you have to wait online. Okay. If you go to thepodcast.com slash whiskey weekend or whiskey tainment, all one word.com, it'll take you to that form. You can fill that out. 100%. And you're on a waiting list at that point. <sighs> wait a second. Do we have. Yes. 
And dude, sometimes <laughs> sometimes when I get a little tipsy, I just open up ten slots just for fun. Grease. What? <laughs> um your little Easter egg was seen. <laughs> uh yes, he did. I just want to know how they saw that. But yeah, so that's that, exactly uh, so what it says. It jo- says Will think, sucks. I think it says Jolette. Jolet. Jolet Jake uh asked Grease, did you write quote Will sucks in chalk on the box? And he did. Right. Um there's a for those of you listening, we have an E. H. Taylor like wooden box in between us that's like our um like our elbow. Right. Uh, and if you're listening, why are you not watching? Go to our YouTube page yep. right now and hold, freaking subscribe to that crap. Hold up. And hit this the bell. Is, this is an audio experience as well. Bruce. I agree with that. Dude. So no, but I'm saying don't just like call people out. Some people just want to listen to our I agree friends. with that totally. But you know what? We had the one of the biggest feedbacks this past week when we released the uh, blue collar bourbon episode that we yes. did people were like yeah it was great to finally not see y'all do this audio on which by the way video's coming but we released the audio early because it was quicker to do so right there was a lot there was a few things we had to edit out of that but the uh the uh surprise, surprise audio only was already released and we got a lot of feedback of like it was just nice it was a pleasant surprise to see you on the podcast platform Right. Early, that, early, I mean, early. I do try to do. I would prefer to do that because I'm a I'm an audio guy. Right. I love YouTube and I love doing this on YouTube. And I I want to find I want to find more time so we can do everything. Right. But we're you know we're working on it. We're getting there. Right. We're still trying to figure out audio on our special videos. But you and I talked about. You know, I'm excited about it because we just got to lower that thing and position it. Yeah. Better. Since we moved our recording location from my house to Grease's, right. My house was audio focused. Right. It's, for five for it's, five it's years, great for five it sounds years, glorious. It does, and then um, it actually got us here. a lot of listeners early on. Yeah, because it's like, you sound don't sound good. like a dag of garbage can. Um, the do we need to do a fifteen? Yes. Oh wait, I thought this was the fifteen. No, we didn't go to the fifteen. Shoot, I thought this was going to be the fifteen. No, this was this is because I found it on the app. Let's do a fifteen. I don't Two. think we should. I think we should. I think we should. People, do you want a 15 that are watching on YouTube? If of you course want they a 15, want a 15. No. <gasps> you know, if you want a 15, hit thumbs up. Oh. Or hashtag Team Grease. Um, no, you know what we should do for the 15? You're, you are the worst. You know what we should do for the 15? Actually the worst. It's a little different. But we have three samples from Travis Plains, a listener, that are all weeders. I don't drink out of things that you've put your lips on. That's not true. It is true. Samantha and I went to prom. I'm ending it. I'm actually <laughs> <laughs> Don't end it. No. That you that need, crap. You need to back up some. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> We're gonna have a little talk offline. No, you thought I was pissed We're not gonna on have Matt to talk. Madness. We're not no, gonna no. Have to talk. You no. thought I was pissed on Matt Madness. <laughs> you need, I asked for you at thirty. I need you just to die. Like, I like, actually want. We your need death. negative tit. Um, I think you should die. Do you know? Do, <laughs> Samantha, here's the deal. You don't have to do a daggum thing. Samantha, Samantha was coming here on Thursday. Not, she's she's literally gonna. She's no, not she, anymore. No, she's gonna burn this mother down. Like she's legit. no, she's literally not coming now. Why? Because I'm going to go tell her what an asshole you are. Why? <laughs> because you're an asshole. I just said I went to prom with her. No, no. That's, that's all I said. That is literally not what you said. So you I need to prom. think about the entire context. You need to think uh, about the context. repercussions of your words. Uh, context, hey, context. Hey, hey dumb ass. Oh! oh! <laughs> Dad gum it. Y'all, let me go ahead and tell y'all something, okay? We're going to make up. It's going to be fine. Right now, it's a little weird. I don't want that one. I want this one. Oh, you... <laughs> Dead gummit. I'm I'm displeased with him. He is so I have to drive home. So Why? You can't, you can't pepper me with whiskey. I'm not peppering. I want to drink this. I don't give a I'm not gonna here's it. We're in my house, dude. I'm not throwing wi- <laughs> this is the Roomba ain't gonna fix this. No. We're gonna need to is there a is there a wet vac Roomba? Uh not that I own. What okay. Nobody I don't think I did not say 15. that. We were going to do the 15. I know, but I didn't say it. I don't want that publicly out there. Can we edit a live? What'd Dad you say? Gum it. Which one? I basically just came up with a multi-million dollar idea. Oh, no. A wet vac no, Roomba. You, 
you know what? There's other things you should be more ashamed of that you set out on the internet. So uh, that's going to do it for this week on the podcast, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. We've had a fun time. We're not doing a 15 tonight. We're done. This is it. Uh, if you are new to the channel, <laughs> like go total. Ahead. Go ahead and like, subscribe, ring the bell. If you are listening on the podcast app, whichever one you listen to it on, rate and review us and give us a five-star review. We'd really appreciate it. If you want merch like this killer podcast hat or the one Grease has, go to thepodcast.com slash store. We've got a great uh, store store of T-shirts and hats yep. and some glassware. And not and only are you supporting us, you're supporting a stay-at-home mom entrepreneur who is amazing. Her name is Melissa. Uh -huh. and um, Lives in Washington State. Yep, we're so great, excited great, to have great. her on our team. So. so you'd be supporting us, but you'd also be supporting her, which is awesome. Um, other than that, we don't know Jack, but we'll drink it. I did want to mention. I, I don't. I don't know if I want you to talk anymore. Well, you're like throwing some strong game out there, like this is over. But then you're telling people to like and subscribe and hit the bell. No, I didn't say this is. I said this show is over. Oh, I thought tonight. you were saying. I thought you were like, we're done. No, we're it's done over. for the night. We're not doing a fifteen. Okay, so you're pro. Like we're doing this next week. I'm on vacation we'll, next week. It's going to be a little will, different. We will see if we will do something should next I week. I think I should take my camera and my nice light down to Florida. Okay. Yes. Why wouldn't you? Well, I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. You're the one who cares. Because I don't have to take a mic. I could just take my, you know, my iPod Pros and then just a nice camera with the converter in my laptop. Just do it that way. I don't know. So I could link the audio with my headphones. Yeah, we'll see. I feel like it's a home run. Oh. You don't want to do iPhone. It sucks. Maybe a it's bunt. Bad. It may be a bunt. A bunt? Yeah. You said it was a home run. I see what you did. Yeah. Sometimes, dude, a bunt's clutch, dude. That's I like talked I, about, I talked about America's favorite pastime. Yeah, it's three and a half minutes of action, like on average per game. All right, folks, thank you so much. Anything else? Anything we missed? I feel like we missed the super chat like early on. And probably. if we did, I'm really sorry. It was probably your fault. Right. I put it up. No, I put them all up. There was just times I couldn't get a word in. It's fine. Right. You threw bourbon on me twice. I'm, right. I, you know, sometimes you get pissed. Sometimes grease goes <sighs> Dude, way too I have far. Been, I have been with you at a New Year's Eve party. Let me go ahead and tell you something you don't do. You don't, you don't touch. You don't, you don't. Oh, negatively no. no and i didn't even negatively i just said i went to prom with samantha that's all i said no i don't think you remember <laughs> what you said and that's why i'm saying you didn't just say that negative 10 percent. So. i'm negative 10 percent. anyway guys thank y'all for joining us tonight we love y'all thank you for joining us on a monday we will be back next monday i think are we going to do a show next monday or are we going to basically just party and do questions and hang I mean, we'll be live. I feel like we'll be you, live. You know what next we need Monday to do we'll next be week? Live, but it won't necessarily be like format. Do you know what we need to do next week? You know what would be super fun? What? To have like a lot of the uh, drinking with people just hop on. Nah. Like this. I want Dan and Sean nah. to hang on. Matt Porter? Nah. Why not? I don't know. I don't because I don't like workshopping things live. Yeah, let's don't workshop it. Because who knows if that's going to happen and people think, oh, that's going to happen. So right. we got to tool shed it. No, a different. you're a tool. Right. Yeah. We're going to shed take you behind. I'm going to shed some light on the tools. Take you behind this shed. Give you a ass okay. whooping. You've said the word ass like 17 times. I'm now. displeased. You're an ass. Tim man. Robertson says, man up and get on Team Grease. No, I'd have to lower my standards. <laughs> you're an ass man. I'm an ass man. That's a, you wouldn't let me say summer of 69 and you're just like throwing out ass man. 